a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Paris Paris is the capital and most populous city in France, with an administrative limits area of 105 square kilometers and an official population of 2,206,488. The city is a commune and department, and the heart of the 12,012 square kilometers Ile de France region, whose 2016 population of 12,142,802 represented roughly 18% of the population of France. Since the 17th century, Paris has been one of Europe's major centers of finance, commerce, fashion, science, and the arts. The Paris region had a GDP of 649.6 billion euros in 2014, accounting for 30.4% of the GDP of France. According to official estimates, in 2013-14 the Paris region had the third highest GDP in the world and the largest regional GDP in the EU. The city of Paris administrative limits form an east-west oval centered on the island at its historical heart, the Ile de la Cité. This island is near the top of an arc of the River Seine that divides the city into southern Rive Gauche and northern Rive Droite regions. Paris is the core of a built-up area that extends well beyond its limits commonly referred to as the agglomeration parisienne, and statistically as a unite urbane, the Paris agglomeration's 2013 population of 10,601,122 made it the largest urban area in the European Union. City-influenced commuter activity reaches well beyond even this inner statistical era urbain de Paris, that had a 2013 population of 12,405,426 a number one-fifth the population of France, the largest metropolitan area in the Eurozone. The city is a major rail, highway, and air transport hub served by two international airports, Paris Charles de Gaulle and Paris Orly. Opened in 1900, the city's subway system, the Paris Metro, serves 5.23 million passengers daily, and is the second busiest metro system in Europe after Moscow Metro. Paris Gare du Nord is one of the 10 busiest railway stations in the world, with 262 million passengers in 2015. Paris is especially known for its museums and architectural landmarks. The Louvre was the most visited art museum in the world in 2016, with 7.4 million visitors. The Musée d'Orsay and Musée de l'Orangerie are noted for their collections of French Impressionist art and the Pompidou Centre Musée National d'Art Moderne has the largest collection of modern and contemporary art in Europe. The historical district along the Seine in the city centre is classified as a UNESCO heritage site. Popular landmarks in the centre of the city include the Cathedral of Notre Dame de Paris and the Gothic Royal Chapel of Saint-Chapelle, both on the Ile de la Cité. The Eiffel Tower, constructed for the Paris Universal Exposition of 1889, the Grand Palais and Petit Palais, built for the Paris Universal Exposition of 1900, the Arc de Triomphe on the Champs-Élysées, and the Basilica of Sacré-Cœur on the hill of Montmartre. Paris received 23 million visitors in 2017, making it the world's top tourist destination. The Association Football Club Paris Saint-Germain and the rugby union club Stade de France are based in Paris. The 80,000-seat Stade de France, built for the 1998 FIFA World Cup, is located just north of Paris in the neighboring commune of Saint-Denis. Paris hosts the annual French Open Grand Slam tennis tournament on the red clay of Roland Garros. Paris hosted the Olympic Games in 1900, 1924, and will host the 2024 Summer Olympics, the 1938 and 1998 FIFA World Cups, the 2007 Rugby World Cup, and the 1960, 1984 and 2016 UEFA for European Championships were also held in the city, and every July, the Tour de France bicycle race finishes there. Etymology The name, Paris, is derived from its early inhabitants, the Celtic Parisi tribe. The city's name is not related to the Paris of Greek mythology. Paris is often referred to as the City of Light, both, because of its leading role during the Age of Enlightenment, and more literally, because Paris was one of the first European cities to adopt gas street lighting. In the 1860s, the boulevards and streets of Paris were illuminated by 56,000 gas lamps. Since the late 19th century, Paris has also been known as Panam in French slang. 
inhabitants are known in English as Parisians, and in French as Parisiens. They are also pejoratively called Parigots. Origins The Parisi, a sub-tribe of the Celtic Senones, inhabited the Paris area from around the middle of the 3rd century BC. One of the area's major north-south trade routes crossed the Seine on the Ile de la Cité. This meeting place of land and water trade routes gradually became a town and an important trading center. The Parisi traded with many river towns, some as far away as the Iberian Peninsula, and minted their own coins for that purpose. The Romans conquered the Paris Basin in 52 BC and, after making the island a garrison camp, began extending their settlement in a more permanent way to Paris left bank. The Gallo-Roman town was originally called Lutetia. It became a prosperous city with a forum, baths, temples, theatres, and an amphitheatre. By the end of the Western Roman Empire, the town was known as Parisius, a Latin name that would later become Paris in French. Christianity was introduced in the middle of the 3rd century AD by Saint Denis, the first bishop of Paris, according to legend, when he refused to renounce his faith before the Roman occupiers. He was beheaded on a hill which became known as Mons Martyrum, later, Montmartre, from where he walked headless to the north of the city. The place where he fell and was buried became an important religious shrine, the Basilica of Saint Denis, and many French kings are buried there. Clovis the Frank, the first king of the Merovingian dynasty, made the city his capital from 508. As the Frankish domination of Gaula began, there was a gradual immigration by the Franks to Paris, and the Parisian Francian dialects were born. Fortification of the Ile de France failed to prevent sacking by Vikings in 845, but Bruis strategic importance, with its bridges preventing ships from passing, was established by successful defense in the Siege of Paris. In 987, Hugh Capet, Count of Paris and Duke of the Franks, was elected King of the Franks. Under the rule of the Capetian kings, Paris gradually became the largest and most prosperous city in France. Middle Ages to Louis XIV By the end of the 12th century, Paris had become the political, economic, religious, and cultural capital of France. The Palais de la Cité, the royal residence, was located at the western end of the Ile de la Cité. In 1163, during the reign of Louis VII, Maurice de Sully, Bishop of Paris, undertook the construction of the Notre Dame Cathedral at its eastern extremity. Paris' cultural centre had begun to move to the right bank, the swampland there having been transformed into farmland. In 1137, a new city marketplace replaced the two smaller ones on the Ile de la Cité and Place de la Grève. The latter location housed the headquarters of Paris River Trade Corporation, an organisation that later became, unofficially, Paris' first municipal government. In the late 12th century, Philip Augustus extended the Louvre fortress to defend the city against river invasions from the west, gave the city its first walls between 1190 and 1215, rebuilt its bridges to either side of its central island, and paved its main thoroughfares. In 1190, he transformed Paris' former cathedral school into a student-teacher corporation that would become the University of Paris and would draw students from all of Europe. During the Hundred Years' War, Paris was occupied by England-friendly Burgundian forces from 1418, before being occupied outright by the English when Henry V of England entered the French capital in 1420. In spite of the 1,429 effort by Joan of Arc to liberate the city, it would remain under English occupation until 1436. In the late 16th century French wars of religion, Paris was a stronghold of the Catholic League, the organizers of the 24th of August 1572 Street Bartholomew's Day Massacre in which thousands of French Protestants were killed. The conflicts ended when pretended to the throne Henry IV, after converting to Catholicism to gain entry to the capital, entered the city in 1594 and claimed the crown of France. This king made several improvements to the capital during his reign. He completed the construction of Paris' first uncovered, sidewalk-lined bridge, the Pont Neuf, built a Louvre extension connecting it to the Tuileries Palace, and created the first Paris residential square, the Place Royale, now placed as Vosges. The king would end his life in the capital, assassinated in a narrow street near Les Halles Marketplace in 1610. During the 17th century, Cardinal Richelieu, 
chief minister of Louis XIII, was determined to make Paris the most beautiful city in Europe. He built five new bridges, a new chapel for the College of Sorbonne, and a palace for himself, the Palais Cardinal, which he bequeathed to Louis XIII. After Richelieu's death in 1642, it was the renamed the Palais Royal. Due to the Parisian uprisings during the Fronde Civil War, Louis XIV moved his court to a new palace, Versailles, in 1682. Although no longer the capital of France, arts and sciences in the city flourished, with the Comédie Française, the Academy of Painting, and the French Academy of Sciences. To demonstrate that the city was safe from attack, the king had the city walls demolished and replaced with tree-lined boulevards that would become the Grands Boulevards of today. Other marks of his reign were the Collège des Quatre Nations, the Place Vendôme, the Place des Victoires, and Les Invalides. 18th and 19th centuries Paris grew in population from about 400,000 in 1640 to 650,000 in 1780. A new boulevard, the Champs-Élysées, extended the city west to Etoile, while the working-class neighborhood of the Faubourg Saint-Antoine on the eastern side of the city grew more and more crowded, with poor migrant workers from other regions of France. Paris was the center of an explosion of philosophic and scientific activity known as the Age of Enlightenment. Diderot and D'Alembert published their Encyclopédie in 1751-52 and the Montgolfier brothers launched the first manned flight in a hot air balloon on 21 November 1783, from the gardens of the Château de la Muette. Paris was the financial capital of continental Europe, the primary European centre of book publishing, fashion and the manufacture of fine furniture and luxury goods. In the summer of 1789, Paris became the centre stage of the French Revolution. On 14 July, a mob seized the arsenal at the Invalidés, acquiring thousands of guns, and stormed the Bastille, a symbol of royal authority. The first independent Paris Commune, or City Council, met in the Hôtel de Ville and, on 15 July, elected a mayor, the astronomer Jean Sylvain Bally. Louis XVI and the royal family were brought into Paris and made prisoners within the Tuileries Palace. In 1793, as the revolution turned more and more radical, the king, queen, and the mayor were guillotined, along with more than 16,000 others. During the Reign of Terror, the property of the aristocracy and the church was nationalized, and the city's churches were closed, sold or demolished. A succession of revolutionary factions ruled Paris until 9 November 1799, when Napoleon Bonaparte seized power as first consul. The population of Paris had dropped by 100,000 during the Revolution, but between 1799 and 1815, it surged with 160,000 new residents, reaching 660,000. Napoleon Bonaparte replaced the elected government of Paris with a prefect reporting only to him. He began erecting monuments to military glory, including the Arc de Triomphe, and improved the neglected infrastructure of the city with new fountains, the Canal de Lourdes. Père Lachaise Cemetery and the city's first metal bridge, the Pont des Arts. During the Restoration, the bridges and squares of Paris were returned to their pre-revolution names, but the July Revolution of 1830 in Paris brought a constitutional monarch, Louis-Philippe I, to power. The first railway line to Paris opened in 1837, beginning a new period of massive migration from the provinces to the city. Louis-Philippe was overthrown by a popular uprising in the streets of Paris in 1848. His successor, Napoleon III, and the newly appointed prefect of the Seine, Georges Eugène Osman, launched a gigantic public works project to build wide new boulevards, a new opera house, a central market, new aqueducts, sewers, and parks, including the Bois de Boulogne and Bois de Vincennes. In 1860, Napoleon III also annexed the surrounding towns and created eight new arrondissements, expanding Paris to its current limits. During the Franco-Prussian War, Paris was besieged by the Prussian army. After months of blockade, hunger, and then bombardment by the Prussians, the city was forced to surrender on 28 January 1871. On 28 March, a revolutionary government called the Paris Commune seized power in Paris. The Commune held power for two months, until it was harshly suppressed by the French army during the Bloody Week, at the end of May 1871. Late in the 19th century, Paris hosted two major international expositions, 
1889 Universal Exposition, was held to mark the centennial of the French Revolution and featured the new Eiffel Tower, and the 1900 Universal Exposition, which gave Paris the Pont Alexandre III, the Grand Palais, the Petit Palais and the first Paris Metro line. Paris became the laboratory of naturalism and symbolism, and of impressionism in art. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?